right? Uh, 3.4 now, and 3.4 is linear program. It's using the concept that we just did of graphing um, inequalities. Um, but we take the maxim in and try to find the answer. So first things first, when you are doing problems with these, um, let's solve all these, right? So I'm going to get y by itself by moving an x over, and I get y is greater than or equal to negative x plus 1. Um, with this problem right here, um, well, let's move down here to this one. This one will be simpler. I would divide both of those by 5. So I divide them both by 5. I end up getting y is less than or equal to 8 fifths x, and when I divide them both by 5, uh, is also a plus 1. Okay, and then this one's a little trickier here. Um, minus a 9x onto both sides, so I'm getting negative 4y is less than or equal to negative 9x plus 9, and I would divide both sides by a negative 4, but keep in mind, when you divide by a negative, you flip the sign. So I have y is now greater than or equal to negative 9 divided by a negative 4 is positive 9 over 4x, and that is now minus 9 over 4. So when I go to graph this, uh, I go up 1, there it is, and now I go down 1, right 1, down 1, uh, right 1, down 1, right 1, um, and there is that line, and I draw that. Psst. Okay, so pick a point not in that line. I'll pick 0, 0. So is 0 greater than or equal to 1? Well, the answer is no. So I would be shading everything in that direction. Go to graph this one at 1. There it is. Now it says go up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Go up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, we'll just say, and over roughly 5, and we now have a line that looks like that. And I pick a point not on that line, which is 0, 0. Is 0 less than or equal to that cancels out 1? The answer there is yes, that's true. And since 0, 0 is here, I shade everything down. So instantly, I know that it's going to be in between these two areas here. And then negative 9 over 4. Um, negative 9 over 4, negative 9 divided by 4 is negative 2.25, meaning I go down, let's move that up here, um, I go down negative 2.25, which is roughly here, and I go up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and over 1, 2, 3, 4. I put a point. I go up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and over 1, 2, 3, 4, and put a point. And then I connect them. All right, and when I'm connecting here, um, we end up getting, um, we'll plug it in, 0, plug in 0, 0, is 0 greater than negative 9 over 4? That is true, so I shade up this way. And here's what we get. We basically shade in this little triangle right in here. That's what we're shading in up to this point. So we have that point there, we have this point here, and this point here. So, let's figure out what those points are. Well, this point is 0, 1. This point is 1, 0. And this point out here is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And that point is 5, 9. So, keep those points in mind. Right? Those points are 5, 9, 1, 0, and 0, 1. We need to find the maximum min, which means this is your x point and this is your y point. This is your x and y, x and y. We plug them all in to find out what is the max and the min. So what that means is plug in a 0 
and plug in a 1. When we do that, I end up getting 0, and 6 times 1 is 6, so I end up getting 6. So when I plug that in, I get 6 as the answer. If I plug in a 1 and a 0, those cancel out. 4 times 1 is 4, so I get 4 as my answer. When I plug in a 5 and a 9, 4 times 5 plus 6 times 9, when you plug that in, I end up getting 20 plus 54, which gives me 74. So here's how simple this is. Whichever one is your biggest is your max. This is the biggest. So this right here is the maximum point. 5, 9. Whichever one's your smallest is your minimum point. That is this. That's the smallest, which means that is your minimum point right there. Okay. Let's see what other examples we have here. I'll give you one more example. Um, taking a look at this one, because um, this one will be quicker and simpler here. Uh, you can also do this with four lines. One, two, oh, sorry, it's negative, so that's a vertical line at one, two, three, four. And that vertical line goes straight up and down. So there that is. And you pick a point not in that line, like zero, zero, is zero greater than negative four? That is true. Zero is greater than negative four, so I'm shading everything in this direction. Then I have x at three, so there's the line at three. And plug in zero, zero, is zero less than or equal to three? That is true. So I shade towards zero, zero, which is everything inside of there. Then I have y at negative one. So there it is at negative one. And I plug in 0, 0, so is 0 greater than or equal to 1? That is true, which means I'm shading everything up. So, so far, it's this little area in here. And at 2, 1, 2, I draw another line. And the reason why these are all solid is because there's a line underneath. I plug in a point not in the line like 0, 0, and that is down in here. So, this is a point that works. This is a point that works. This is a point that works and this is a point that works. What does that mean? That means when we plug in the points this is 3 negative 1 this is 3 2 this is 1 2 3 negative 4 2 and this is negative 4 negative 1. So those are your points that you need to plug in. So I'll start by plugging in 3 for x and negative 1 to see what we get. So when I plug in that point I get negative 6 and negative 3 so this gives me negative 9. Okay. Now let's plug in a 3 and a 2. So when I plug in um, a 3 and a 2. I'm trying to find out which one's my max and min. When I plug in the 2, I get negative 6 and 6. So that gives me 0. I plug that in. Over here now, let's plug in um, it's a negative 2. Let's plug in negative 4. And let's plug in the 2. So I end up getting 8 and 6, which is 14. So this answer over here gives me a 14. And over here I plug in a negative 4 and a negative 1. And when I do that, I end up getting a positive 8 and a negative 3, which is 5. So, whichever one gives me the max is my max. Well, whichever one's the biggest. This right here is your max because that gives me the biggest number. So that is your max. Whichever one gives me the lowest number, which is down here, this is the lowest number. So that is your min, and there is your max and min. Um, I hope that helped. Um, there are many different ways that people do this, but it's the same concept. Just to find the max and min, you take your answers and you plug them in. It's the only tricky thing. I want you to remember is it's just like um, graphing inequalities. Uh, the same thing, except plug in to find your max and min. The max is the biggest number, 
and the min is the um, lowest number. But keep in mind, sometimes you don't have a max. All right. If I gave you something that looked like this, and you shaded this in, it goes on forever. So there's no max. Sometimes you don't have a min either, so keep that in mind when you're doing this. You, um, if you ever have a tie when you're plugging something in, that's a good way to decide whether you have a max or a min. When you're plugging in numbers, if you get a tie and they're both the lowest number, then there is no minimum value. Okay? If you plug in numbers and you get uh, two things that are the highest, then there is no max. That's just something to keep in mind.